Hello and welcome to Madden 10. We're... I was thinking about it and I've done multiple recordings before this. And the gameplay is just so finicky on all pro, even pro, because it was the end of the half and both quarterbacks had less than 100 yards passing. Yet running backs had like 200 yards. It was insane. So we're just going to do a sim series for realism because I'm more of a accuracy guy. And, I mean, granted, the sim on this isn't very good either, but it's a lot better. It's more so defense that's unrealistic, but yeah, we're... And we'll do quarterly checkups. What I mean by that is every four weeks, we'll look into the statistics of the team and see how they're doing. Look at the league. And at the half mark, we'll do the C the league statistics and all that. And so far, we're 0-3. Probably going to go 0-4. And Matt Castle thus far has done all right. All things today, five touchdowns, three interceptions, 314 yards. Jamal Charles, 85 yards per game, three touchdowns, but not four yards per carry. Yeah. Dwayne Bowett, 67.67 yards per game, which isn't too bad. Sean Ryan's doing pretty well. Jamal Charles is doing pretty well, but he is injured for 10 weeks. I did not notice that until just now. Ooh, boy, and Bobby Ingram, not doing so hot. But we have 10 weeks without Jamal Charles, so... <sighs> O-line, Albert has allowed four sacks thus far. Verbell has two sacks, picks, Flowers, Page, Verbell, and Thomas. And we're going to change our scheme already. Because our running backs are... I tried doing a recording in the garage, but my phone is at 12%, so I can't exactly do that. I'm doing alright. My spring break is almost over. It's it's been a very odd spring break, not gonna lie. Wish I could have spent more time recording, but I was doing family stuff, like watching over, uh, kids. Matt Castle really hasn't done too much. He's been all right. Cedric Benson hasn't done anything, which is exactly why it's good. Dwayne Bowe has showed up even more. Sean Ryan showed up more. Bobby Ingram showed up more. And Quentin Lawrence has actually started to pop up. Brandon Albert has only allowed two sacks in the four game span. Tyson Jackson with six sacks. He's come up. Glenn Dorsey's come up. 
Mike Rebell with four sacks. And Zach Thomas with two interceptions and 62... My apologies. 62 tackles. And now... Connor Boss is only has three field goals. Britton Colquitt's done alright. No touchdowns returning. First down, Matt Castle leads by far. And in terms of the best quarterbacks, Aaron Rodgers has the most yards, surprisingly. And you might say, surprisingly, he's a beast. This is back when he's only 89 overall, though. You have to realize... This was only his second year starting. Dude didn't play much back then. Tom Brady is second and 17 touchdowns, which does lead the league by far. And right behind him is the great Peyton Manning. Then Ben Roethlisberger and Rodgers. Jeff Garcia, surprising, with only three interceptions, by the way. Matt Hasselbeck, dear lord. Joe Flacco has done pretty well. Mark Bolger, Tony Romo, Eli Manning, Trent Edwards, Jay Cutler, Kerry Collins, Philip Rivers, Matt Schaub, Jake Delhomme, Chad Pennington, yada yada yada. And Marion Barber, 1,200 yards already, 14 touchdowns. Behind him is Steven Jackson, Steve Slayton. It looks like Steven Jackson might be the only other running back besides Marion Barber to get 2,000 yards. And that's only, that's only if he does better than thus far. And Marion Barber has done fantastically. Steve Slayton's done pretty well, very young. Brian Westbrook, MJD, which is one of my favorite running backs, Ronnie Brown, you get the point. TJ Hushmanzada, leading the league in yards. Then Donald Driver, then Roddy White, then Steve Smith, then Andre Johnson, Anthony Gonzalez, Roy Williams, uh -huh. Dwayne Bowe. Steve Hutchinson of the Vikings has allowed 12 sacks already. Wow. In terms of titles, DeQuil Jackson already has 110. Wow. And 8 sacks as a middle linebacker. He's actually tied for second. Brady James has 9 sacks, which is insane for a middle linebacker. Patrick Kearney, Maake... Kim Moetu, Colin Jenkins, BJ Raji, Darnell Dockett. In terms of interceptions, Ed Reed and Nick Roach. My apologies. Um, field goal percentage, Stephen. Stefan Gostkowski or Stefan Gostkowski or Stefan Goat as some people like to call him. Brad Maynard. Most punt He's punt, Donnie Jones, Shane Leckler, Hunter Smith, and then Dustin Colquitt. For touchdown, Skyler Green has three kick returns. I've never heard of this kid, but he's definitely going to be known now. Power return touchdowns, Jacoby Jones, Lance Moore, Joey Galloway, Steve Breston. Pretty standard guys to see on this list. And of course, Aaron Rodgers, Marion Barber, 
Joe Flacco, Philip Rivers, Tom Brady, Mark Bolger, Matt Ryan, Ronnie Brown, Peyton Manning, Chad Pennington, Ben Roethlisberger, Mark Sanchez, the rookie, Tony Romo, Eli Manning, Matt Schaub, Warwick Dunn, and Matt Castle are some of the best first down guys. Sorry, uh, I realized that the... Mm. Hopefully my computer doesn't freak out, which is why I haven't been recording on the computer with my microphone, which... Shoot, I think my microphone is in Spokane. We have one more game to go through. We go 75 so far. Not too shabby. That Castle, 13 touchdowns, 6 picks, 2,273 yards. Cedric Benson's been running a lot, which is not good. Jamal Charles will be back here soon, which will be exciting. Dwayne Bowe, 863 yards. Sean Ryan, who probably having, yeah, career year here. Bobby Ingram is about where you expect. Quinn Lawrence, having a good season, an aspect of him. Mark Bradley. Mike God. Albert's only allowed seven sacks thus far, which is pretty good. Tackles, Mike Rebels at 96, Zach Thomas 91, Derek Johnson 56, Glenn Dorsey 6x, Tyson Jackson 6x, Mike Rebell 4, Pollard 3, Demario Williams 3, Interceptions, Joey Thomas 2, Brandon Flowers 2, Gerard Page 2, Zach Thomas 2. Kicking, Connor Barth still has missed only 3 field goals. And Dustin Colquitt is still doing alright. Mark Bradley did return a punt for a touchdown, though. But Matt Castle, 3,000 yards, 48 touchdowns, and I think he played arguably better than he did last season. He didn't rush as much, which is fine. Cedric Benson, 652 yards, 4 touchdowns. Jamal Charles has about the same season as last season, except slightly better, even though he was hurt most of it. 
and Dwayne Bow to the Pro Bowl. A thousand yards yet again. And the man is averaging a thousand yards per season now. Actually, he probably has. Last year, too, he was. Sean Ryan had a great season for being a mediocre tight end. Bobby Ingram, better season. Quentin Lawrence had a good season. Mark Bradley was all right. Cedric Benson was all right. Jamal Charles was great while he was healthy. Devar Del Darling played pretty well, actually. In terms of sacks, Brent Albert only allowed nine. 136 tackles by Mike Rebel. Six sacks and a pick. And a Pro Bowl to add on top. Zach Thomas did get hurt this season. He played 14 games. Glenn Dorsey got nine sacks. Tyson Jackson got injured and did not get any more sacks. Joey Thomas got three picks. Connor Barth missed only four field goals, yet did not make the Pro Bowl, which is a bit shocking. Britton Colquitt also did not make the Pro Bowl, even though he had a good season. If you want, leave your predictions in the comments for the wild card round. Then division, leave your brackets, basically, if you want to, leave a bracket. So for the wild card, Miami versus Baltimore, Chicago versus Arizona, New York versus San Diego, New York versus New Orleans, and yeah, to be determined against the Patriots. To be determined against the Cowboys, and to be determined against the Titans, and to be determined against the Packers. So, for the first game, the Dolphins beat the Ravens, and I believe they will be playing the Patriots. The Bears versus the Cardinals. The Cardinals will be playing, I believe, the Cowboys. The Jets will be playing the Titans. No, that's not how it's going to work. It's Dolphins at Patriots, Saints at Cowboys, Jets at Titans, and Cardinals at Packers. My apologies. And for the Patriots, I should have made my predictions. I'll make my predictions as well. So it's, yeah, you seen. So I'm going Patriots, which do win. I'm going to have them go against the Cowboys because they've been on fire with their running attack. And they win. And between, oops. I'm going to have the Titans being the Jets, and it's a massacre. I should also mention why I voted for teams, or why I will be voting for. So Patriots because of the Patriots, Cowboys I mentioned kind of the Titans because And I already said Titans versus Patriots. I'm going Patriots. And the Titans beat the Patriots. I will have the Cowboys. Even though I hate the Cowboys. And they do win. So it'll be Titans, Cowboys, Super Bowl. A Southern Super Bowl. Pro Bowl, I'm going... NFC. And AFC wins in overtime. 
I'm going Cowboys because Mary and Barbara. Haley went 9-7 and seven in his first year at head coach, which is not too bad. Champ Gailey was alright. Pendergast was alright. We need a new special... Oops. Tired players, Hanson, Malway, Casey, Richardson, well, Kurt Warner's retiring. Brian Dawkins is retiring. Derek Brooks, Andy Barber, Theo. Zach Thomas, Mike Rebell, and Bobby Ingram. I'm losing quite a bit of firepower. Resigned Brendan Albert, Brian Waters, Rudina Swanger needs to be resigned, Mike Goff might need to be resigned, Shane Olivier, Tyson Jackson, Glenn Dorsey, Alfonso Boone, Tom Bahali, Derek Johnson, Demario Williams, Brandon Flowers, and Joey Thomas, Gerard Page, and Bernard Pollard, Connor Barth, and Dustin Colquitt. We have no restricted free agent, and we'll take a quick look to see if there's any good restricted free agents I could possibly snatch.
And if we get Jay Richardson, cool. We'll move him to right end and possibly move one of the ends to defensive tackle. If we don't, We'll move him to right end. We'll move Glenn Dorsey to left end. And we'll move Tyson Jackson to defensive tackle. Monty Bristle. No reason to resign him at that age. Wade Smith. It was almost less than one million dollar deal for one year. Tyler Thigpen. I think he does his extension for two more years. Eric. Something. We'll sign him for one year, I guess. Oops. Um. Brian De La Puente. Puente de la Puente. No, probably not. Uh, Mike Cox. Uh, we'll sign him for three years. Maurice Leggett. Nah. Weston Dacus or Dacus. We'll sign him for like one year. Derek There's quite a few guys we need to sign. Holy crap. We have 61 million cap. Mark Bradley. I think we signed him to a two year deal because he's now the two receiver. Derek Johnson. We'll sign him to a five year deal. do a four-year deal because I think he still has room to develop. Connor Barth, I definitely want to resign him to a six-year deal. He played fantastically last year. Brody Croyle, uh, we'll sign him to a one-year deal. Gerard Page. Three-year deal sounds good. He's still young. Rudy Naswanger, three-year deal. Actually, I might sign him to a five-year deal. Still fairly young. Tank Tyler. Uh, we'll sign him to a three-year deal. That's good, and we will release all non signed. I'm sorry that the music's gonna be choppy, this just makes the re signing process faster. And there we go. Now to free agency.
Tony Gonzalez replacement, but definitely a lot better than Sean Ryan. And in terms of signings, Chad Clifton goes to the Steelers, Levi Jones to the Chargers, Dwayne Robinson to the Broncos. You guys can read it. J.J. Arrington to the Patriots is an interesting one. I think he'll be a great addition to the Patriots because he's very athletic. The Ravens signing David Akers is interesting because the Ravens had Stephen Hauschka, I believe. Which is only a 70 overall, so it's a good improvement. Richie Incognito to the Texans. Mike Tolbert to us. Sullivan Young to us. Lee Bowden. The Pro Bowl corner goes to Green Bay, which will be interesting. Davon Bess to the Panthers. No one signs Jerome Harrison or Fred Jackson. Corin Robinson signs with the Ravens, though. Interesting. And, hmm, Blake McCoy looks to be a good one. He was projected to be top 10, but he's available at 18, which is concerning, but we do need a strong safety to replace Bernard Pollard, or we can, Gerard Page could move to strong safety and he can move to free safety. As you can see, multiple Broncos picks. Because they've been trading up. Um, I'm going to get another strong safety because I cannot pass on Donnie Gable. 4 3 4, 6 4, 235, and 21 bench press. You don't see that every day. I think we might go Otis Bronson for backup quarterback with a 477 speed and a 6'4, 234 from San Jose State. He'll make a good backup and we can move Tyler Thickpin back to third string. Chucky Strong would be an interesting one. A 443, 19 bench press at 5'10, 186. Only 21 years old, it will be very interesting. Jameel Knight might be a good addition, since we do need to boost our linebacking core. Not many good picks, so I think we're going to have to go with Kareem Dixon, which I'm not excited for. Because he's very small height-wise, but big weight-wise for a corner. (sighs) 
A better one would be Tony Vance. I think we build our receiving core more. Corey Thomas, the 5'8", 180 receiver. Our draft grade is a C plus. Normally get a lot worse than that. Blake McCoy. Signed to a seven year deal. And he's a, he's a stud. He's fast. He can tackle all right. He, he'd make a great free safety. And we'll make Donnie Gable an uh, insane strong safety. A uh, Taylor Mays-esque guy, if you know what I mean. Very fast, pretty strong. Super athletic. Can't tackle, though. But, mm, I don't know. Otis Bronson... 78 overall. Not very fast, surprisingly. Beautiful. Kareem Dixon, what are you a bust? You are all right. You're actually surprisingly athletic, and you can tackle decently. Tony Vance. I was give a tackler, but I assume he's smarter. Eh, it's a little bit dumber, but the height advantage is nice. Plus, I'll get a decent amount of playing time as mid 70s. They'll probably be our slot receiver or our slot receiver, slot corners. We need to cut one player, which shouldn't be too bad, especially because we're signing our receiver. And we'll cut Dever. And Corey Thomas. And yeah, I've had better drafts that were even graded lower than this, by the way. And then we're going to go to free agent signing period.
that's the end of season one. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. If you liked it, please feel free to leave a like, comment, or even subscribe if you feel like you want to see more of any of my content. We are actually nearing 100 views, which is very exciting. We're at 97 channel views, I believe, approximately, which is crazy. It's exciting. And thank you so much, guys. Anyways, have a wonderful day, night, evening, whatever time it is. Deuces.